Hi fishy folks and welcome to Michael's Fish Room. Guys, before we get started, do me a favor, just oh, go ahead and obliterate the subscription button if you haven't done so already. Gently boop the notification bell. And of course, leave a thumbs up if you like it, a thumbs down if you don't, but don't be a coward. If you don't like it and give me a thumbs down, let me know why so I can get better and make fun of you because that's what I'm going to do. Anyway, today's video is about my favorite hang on the back filter, possibly the best hang on the back filter ever created ever. Aqua Clear. Now here's what I like about the Aqua Clear. They are highly customizable. First let's do the unboxing. Now this particular Aqua Clear is the Aqua Clear 50, which uh, does 20 to 50 gallons of water. Now you know we've talked about this kind of stuff before. How big of a filter do you need? How much water changes? Blah blah blah. Really depends on your bio load. So we'll talk about that in another video. Anyway, let's uh, let's rip the plastic off. I did get this on Amazon. There will be an affiliate link down below. Um, it was on sale. I think this was like 37 bucks plus tax, so like 39 bucks, I think. We're just gonna put the plastic over there. Now, Aqua Clears are spectacular for a few reasons. Here's all the media it comes with, and that's what makes it so spectacular, is the different choices of media. Those are the instructions. You know I just usually throw those away anyway. But here is the unit. <laughs> I said unit. All right, so we take the cover off. We have the YouTube. Get it? The YouTube, because it's a YouTube. See, it's also funny because it looks like a U, folks. Media basket. All right, so I'm just going to show you how it works. Here's the uh, base, the container. It hangs on the back. Here's your motor assembly, which is completely removable. You can take the impeller out, which is magnetic, it's right here. You can easily replace them. Uh, it doesn't use any bushings. If you know what a bushing is, bushing is uh, you know they can wear or break or get clogged kind of thing. Has this nice O-ring. Um, if you have to take this off a lot, you can just use some Vaseline to lube the O-ring, but then it just goes back in place and boom. Uh, so, media basket, motor and pump, or motor I should say. Uh, it has this doohickey which you ever buy them used, these are usually broken, but this um, lets you mount it and move it away from the tank. So you can put it like this and it, it, it moves it away, whatever. Um, why there are two tubes, I don't know actually. I don't remember ever having two tubes. So, YouTube goes in like this. Like this. Then the suction tube. I thought, yeah, that's why. You can double them up like this to make it longer. We all know some people need longer tubes if their tanks are deep. Anyway, so this thing also has a little adjustment here to adjust the flow. If you put it all the way to the left, it's full flow. If you move it over, it moves uh, from the center of the suction so you get less flow. Um, media basket, which is nice. You can put all your media in there, but here's what I really like. So it comes with media, of course. It comes with a great sponge. Whoa, comes with its own media bag. I'm dropping stuff everywhere, folks. So it comes with its own media bag, and the reason why you need your own media bag is because it comes with um, biological media, very porous media, which you can use. now. In my tanks, I don't use, I only use sponge filters. 
Here's the media bag, by the way, which you can fill up with anything you want and as much as you want. Here's the biological media. I'm going to probably just wash this off and use it in a um, box filter. But what I like, oh, here's carbon. And you know what you should do with carbon? Just throw it away because we don't need it. Here's what I like, though. So you have this basket, and you can put your sponges. I would probably put three sponges in um, for my purpose. But you can put sponge, biological sponge, Biological, biological, sponge. Biological, biological, biological. Sponge, sponge, sponge. Whatever you want. Um, that's what I like about them. The part that holds the um, filter media, pretty big and very customizable. Now, here are the instructions. I did say I normally throw them on the floor. Submit your warranty card. Um, I've never had an issue with these. But if I did, I would easily warranty them. I would easily call the company and say, hey, there's a lot of instructions here. That's not what I would say to them. What I'm looking for is the way they want you to put media in. Because there's an order. Here we go. But it's in French. Maybe if I turn it over, I'll see English. There we go. So what they say is, they call it a YouTube, by the way. What they say how to install the media is put the foam insert first, then the carbon, then the biological media. And that's because the water will come in through the YouTube. Here, I'll show you. The water will come in through the YouTube and fill up through the bottom. So you want the sponge to collect all the mechanical gunk on the bottom. And then I would probably go with another sponge and then biological media or two biological medias. Now, as far as biological media goes, I would use a sponge and then lava rock. Um, the reason why you'd want this media bag over here is so you could take the biological media out in one thing and then take your sponge out to clean it. You could use um, old tank water or dechlorinated treated water to clean your biological media if you need it. But I'm going to uh, hook this up in a tank that really needs a hang on back filter to help clean the water. In these right here, you can't see him. He just wants some loving. Anyway, I'm gonna put this on a tank, show you, grab a snack and a beverage, and stand by, okay? Indeed, you're adorable. You're so cute. Oh no, the camera was on. What should I do? All right, fishy folks, we have this thing set up here. Uh, down on the bottom I have polyfill and then the sponge that came with it. And um, just a quick note, this black thing that I told you, which can move this, is basically to level it depending on how thick your, um, your trim here is. Now, uh, if you look at the instructions, I'm gonna guess they say you have to prime this before you start it the first time. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna add water um, to here. Fill it up. And then we're gonna plug it in. Now, back when I had tanks without the fish room, they, these were the only filters I used, pretty much. I did have a, uh, a Marine Land that I thought was the greatest thing since sliced bread, but it was noisy and whatever. Uh, you can see air in the tube is coming out. When those bubbles stop, it'll probably start to pump. Anyway, I uh, I used a Marine Land, which I hated, but I love these Aqua Clears. I had probably four or five of them in my different tanks. And uh, there we go. I just had to switch the wrong way. And so now it's sucking in on the bottom, down there, going through the media here, and water falling over, as you can see. Now, yes, this tank is really cloudy. This is a pleco breeding tank. You can see there's a poop ton of snails. Get it, a poop ton. Uh, but, you know, we have lots of babies in here, and it looks like there's some action going on in the caves. Um, when I say lots of babies, there are babies in here. They just like to hide every now and again. I'm like, where are all the babies? And then I see them, so. Anyway, that's the AquaClear 50. Here's the lid. Nice and quiet. And boom.
There we go. So, AquaClear 50. I love the AquaClear filters because of the customizability. Now, I've done videos on hot rotting filters. You can add an intake sponge. You can change different filter media. Um, if you were using this to clean a tank as the only filtration in a tank, I should say, you would want some more uh, biological media in there. The sponge that's in there and the uh, polyfill will definitely uh, be a good place for bacteria to colonize, but not as much as if you had lava rock or some of the other established media in there. Doesn't really matter what it is, what brand it is, uh, as long as it's porous and inert, it'll, it won't hurt. It'll help the water and not hurt. That was easier for me to say. For those of you that don't know what inert means, it means it has no effect on water chemistry, like lava rock. All right, fishy folks, I'm gonna let this run for a while and come back and just see how uh, dirty the filter becomes, you know, the, the, the stuff that I have in there uh, becomes, but just a quick lesson, as I said before, the water gets pumped in through here and then down into the chamber here and then overflows into the filter. You can see that it's already creating uh, a stir in the tank from the waterfall action and some debris is getting sucked up in there. Uh, if you do have fry, you would definitely need to cover that with some polyfill, not polyfill, with some pinky floss or some other floss material, pantyhose, whatever you may have lying around. All right, fishy folks, stand by. We're gonna see what this looks like in a little while. Hours later. All right, fishy folks, it's a few hours later and you can see uh, quite a bit of mulm or dirt or whatever you want to call it is in the filter. It's doing a great job Water's still a little cloudy, but I'm not concerned. Like I said, if you don't like it, I don't really care Anyway, that's it for the best hang on back filter ever the aqua clear I happen to like this size a lot the aqua clear 50. I think they make a 110 and maybe a 20 I don't know if they make anything smaller or bigger than that, but love the aqua clears. Parts are always available. Check out the Amazon associate link down below. If you buy something, I make like a million pennies and that would be great. So have a great day guys. And I'll talk to you soon. If you put it all the way to the left, it's full throat flow.